We're back tonight with a special 10 Investigates report called Caught in the Cycle. 10 Investigates found since 2015, 20 children have died while in the care of custody of Franklin County Children's Services. Our story tonight focuses on that issue. It is the first in a series of stories that will examine children caught in the cycle of foster care. We'll take a look at tragic events, the challenging landscape for caseworkers and caregivers, and we'll explore possible solutions and hold to account those in power. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haverly. There is no question there are children in need. Kill me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Shoot me. No, shoot me. This police body camera footage provides a small window into part of what happens at Franklin County Children's Services Intake Center in Whitehall. Children come into the agency's care from various paths. What happens at this intake center is just part of the cycle that can start with referrals from juvenile court or from a child with behavioral or mental health needs. Any of those can lead to a path of children's services and foster care placements. She is in crisis. She was taken away from her parents today. Franklin County Children's Services, the agency tasked with removing kids from harm, acknowledges that since 2015, 20 children in their care have died, which begs more questions. When kids end up, when kids open negative outcomes, either they end up dead or they end up in an incident that claims another life, what role does the county play for that? Yeah, our, we play a role, our community plays a role right? Children are a product of our community. Children are homegrown and we're all responsible for the health and wellness of all families in our community. But families of the children who died question what level of protection was provided. After he was murdered, I contacted them. Um, they immediately came out, dropped off his belongings, said they could not exist in any funeral expenses. And then I get a letter saying the case was closed. Tony Howard helped raise her grandson, Dewan Lewis Taylor, after his mother died. Following her death, his behavior changed. A domestic incident at home landed him in juvenile court. Tony says Franklin County Children's Services took custody, placed him at Mary Haven, where she says after a two weeks stay, he was assaulted by another teen and ran away. Children's Services did not go out looking for him. They told me, they came to our house and told us they do not have time to look for missing children. If Dewan calls, tell him to turn himself in or you can turn him in. Children's Services told 10 Investigates it disputes that, saying it does look for missing children. Two weeks later, though, in late September of 2020, Dewan was shot and killed on Columbus's north side. The next month, Tony says she got this letter from Franklin County Children's Services saying there was no longer a need for their care. And for that clause to say no need for protective services, what were they protecting? They weren't protecting him. The system failed my daughter. The system failed other children. And there needs to be some reform to the system. What's going on? Hey, hey! Paula Bryant's daughter, Micaiah, died six months after Dewan. Her death initially drew national attention, in part because it involved a Columbus police officer fatally shooting her. During this encounter, body camera footage shows the 16-year-old engaged in a fight and later holding a knife near a woman. A 10 Investigates review of police records found that since 2016, Columbus police had responded to her foster home at least 29 times. 16 of those calls were for missing persons reports. A few others were for things like fights. Since I got in a fight, I don't want to be here no more. You're placing kids in foster homes where there have been active police runs, and people looking at that without an extensive knowledge of social work would say, that doesn't seem right. So why does that happen? Well, let me give a couple of examples, I think, that add a little bit of context to why would the police respond to a foster home? Intake director Laura LaRoche told me foster parents are required to contact authorities for teens who run away. Youth are coming into our care, experiencing these behaviors. Is it reasonable to believe that those behaviors will cease through the act of giving the agency custody? No. Of the 20 cases of children who died, half were the result of gun violence. It's sad, so who's held accountable? Or they just label them as a number, or well, this was a problem child, and oh well. No, that's a life that you took ownership of to protect in your letter. So what happens? 
And we asked Laura LaRoche what her agency would say to those families. She says that we grieve with them. Our reporting on this is not done. You'll hear more from our conversation with Franklin County Children's Services in the coming days as we discuss other issues and some possible solutions. In our next report, we'll examine another problem. What happens when a foster child is involved in an incident that kills someone? That's tomorrow night at 6.